I'm going to show you how to screen print. I'm just... This is a shirt I'm printing on. I've already um, half done a bit of a design on it. But I'm going to just print another layer. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay the shirt out nice and flat. Um, and normally you would, I'd mark out like, you know, just with masking tape I have here where I want to sit so I can like sit the stencil properly. Um, and so um, the stencils are made out of um, laminating pouches that I've drawn on with a permanent marker and then cut out. And I just laid it in really terribly. Um, And so, after, the, after you've done all that, cutting out the stencil and stuff, and you're ready to print, you lay your shirt out, and you put a, like a, something in between the layers, the layers in between, inside the shirt pretty much, you know, just, just chuck it inside, and then just so that it doesn't like go through the fabric and then you have it like all gross and on the inside of the shirt. Um, it doesn't always go through the fabric, but it does sometimes if it's um, a thin shirt or whatever. Um, so once you've got that set up, you can then position the sensor. I haven't really Within the it is, it's ready. So, I, don't, I don't know if you can, it's you know, well. Maybe I need to redo the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this, this camera because I feel like it's not in a very visible spot. So, okay, I think that's a lot better. So, now you can see. Okay, so I've laid my stencil in the. And I've done, a, when I've drawn my stencil, I did a little arrow, what way it goes, because otherwise I'll get confused and do it upside down accidentally, something like that, you know, and, um, um, yeah, so now that it's laid out, you can grab your silk screen, swipe one eye, you know, I've got three of them, if you can see that properly, and it's, I've put, like, a um, gaffer tape kind of thing around it, which is like a cloth tape, because it, Stops water from getting into the wood and stuff and damaging that. Although there's a little gap in it, so I feel like it's probably not doing an amazing job, but you know, it's okay. Um, anyway, so you mix up the color with just a spatula. I've got some yellow already out, so I was gonna start doing this, and then I realized I paid for you to film a video. Then, whatever color you want, you mix. The inks and fabric ink. I'm using Speedball ink and also permanent set fancy stuff. Um, and I normally wear gloves, but I ripped my gloves, and so I just kind of stopped wearing them. Um, but it's a pretty good idea to wear them because then, like, you can take them off, and then like. Get some white and lighten it up a bit. I'm not really sure what colour I'm going for. What I did before I did the stencil is do just a drawing of like the design that I kind of just basic come to drawing. Uh just to you know, just so I can look at what colours I want to use and stuff like that. Um, I just did it in the like knockoff, like, they're like alcohol markers, you know, just really cheaper ones. Um, I need a bit more blue on this, I think. 
and you only have quite a bit of ink, even though just so that you can see, it's like it's an even coating everywhere. You don't want to use a really scrounge amount of ink, even though obviously you don't want to use a lot of it because it's not the cheapest thing, but it's like uh, it's a good idea to um, have like some extra containers and stuff. But if you have like a mix, if you mix a lot of a colour up, you can keep it. And then if you want to print the same design on multiple shirts, you have that colour and you can use it on the same shirt. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that I've mixed this colour, but it's like a. <laughs> but yeah, I've mixed it up like a bluey, greeny colour. Um, a million if you want to be technical with that stuff. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab it and just pick up a bit of it with the uh, palette knife and then just kind of tap it along the top here. Spread it out a bit and just get all of it. Like, even you're probably not going to use all of it, it's definitely, but I just slop all of it on just so that there's plenty. Okay, and then this squeegee. This is not an amazing squeegee, but it does the job. Um, and you just you just go from the top, and then just go down. Um, sometimes you really meant to do like one swipe. I kind of just go over it a couple times until I'm sure that it's done. You want to use like not. Like a lot of pressure, but you want to make sure you get it in because sometimes it does break a bit. Okay, so what I do with the leftover is like pick up a bit with the squeegee and then just come back over here and scrape it off a bit. And then just get the rest of it. I wouldn't use it. Oh my god. <clears throat> I'm glad I must just drop that on the freaking shirt. That would have been so good. Um, yeah, I won't use a palette knife to scrape off the silk screen just because it might damage it a bit because it's metal in it. So I, won't, I just don't trust that. So, yeah, I've gotten rid of most of that. I'm just like there. Wipe that off. <laughs> okay, hopefully, this doesn't look awful. Um, yeah. So you can see it's printed the bluish greenish colour. I don't know if this is the exact colour that I was planning on using, but I think it looks alright. This is this image is of like a river kind of thing that my dad wanted me to do. Um, so I hope he's happy with it. Um, yeah, and so yeah, it's also good because it, the this this thing like gets stuck to the. Um, to the silk screen so it like kind of lifts up with it so you don't have to I don't know worry about that um people walking past um yeah so uh you wait for that to dry I sometimes oh god I've messed up a bit there anyway that's why you wear gloves because otherwise you get like scrounge a bit of paint but it's fine um my dad's gonna be wearing this shirt so it doesn't matter um anyway um yeah so you I normally would probably do a couple layers just so that it doesn't, um, just for bits where see, I've missed a couple, like, printed it kind of not amazingly in some areas. You can't even see what I'm looking at. Great. But yeah. Um, but, so yeah, I'll do a couple layers just in case there's bits where it's missed a bit and hasn't printed properly. And also if you're working on a darker fabric, it tends to not show up that well, especially if you're using, um, kind of more transparent ink so it's you know, it's not as good um and then and also you want to um yeah, unless you're printing multiple of the like same design you'd want to wash the silk screen pretty soon after you've printed it because otherwise you'll get you know your ink will dry up in the screen 
Um, and if you are, even if you are doing multiple designs, you probably want to, like multiple shirts with the same design, you probably want to still wash it after a few prints just so that it's not all dried up in there because that is not what you want. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all we'll talk about with this. Um, yeah, but it's pretty fun and pretty easy to do actually. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoy that.